We're going to go live right now to Mark Schauer in Battle Creek. He is prepared to make a speech. We believe it's his concession speech. Tim Wahlberg declared victory in the 7th Congressional District race, one of the most contentious in the nation. Thank you. Well, this isn't the speech that I was planning on giving, uh, but I did call Tim Wahlberg about five minutes ago and congratulated him on his win and uh, asked him to take good care of the people that we represent, of our, of our people. Um, to the death, best damn group of volunteers and supporters and friends that I've ever known, uh, thank you. Thank you. Your uh, compassion for others is inspiring to me. Every day when I walked into one of our campaign offices and saw you working hard, um, making the extra phone calls, that inspired me. You deserve victory, uh, but we will fight another day. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> To my campaign team, you are the best, bar none, the best campaign organization in the country. And don't just take that for me. There are others that know a heck of a lot more about campaigns that told me that, that you are the best campaign organization in the country, bar none, and you deserve to win tonight. <laughs> to my campaign team, Andrew, get up here. <laughs> Andrew Pyatt. <laughs> I, you know, the, the votes are still being counted, and uh, it's going to be a, a close, tough loss. Uh, but think about what you did in the face of a national tidal wave. This was not a wave. This was a tidal wave that you almost pulled off a miracle here in the Michigan 7th Congressional District. That is a tribute to each and every one of you on my campaign team. And the best campaign manager in the country, Andrew Pyatt. Mark Schauer, Battle Creek, Congressman who just lost his re-election bid to Tim Wahlberg, who held the seat before Schauer did. There you see the results. And let's, uh, as we t check those results, take a look at some of the key races that we have been following for you tonight. The 3rd Congressional District, that's Kent, Ionia, and Berry County. Republican Justin Amash won that. On to that tight race in the 20th Senate District, that's Kalamazoo and Van Buren Counties. Tanya Schutmaker, your winner there. And the 29th District State Senate seat in Grand Rapids, David Hildebrand, the Republican, winning that over David Legrand. We have brought you hours of live team coverage on this election night. Our commitment is not over. We will continue to analyze the impact of tonight's elections and the fallout, uh, a lot of that falling in this man's lap, mm -hmm. how that's going to change the makeup of the national political and local political scene. 24-hour News States Daybreak. In just a few hours, we'll have all the results, more analysis, and a complete wrap-up of all that unfolded tonight. Final thoughts, Rick Alvin. Well, I think that what you saw was maybe a bigger-than-expected uh, Republican gain in the House. We still don't know what the U.S. House numbers are going to be. Still don't know what the state House numbers are going to be. But it appears both will be in control of the Republican Party. For Rick Snyder, it's a mixed bag. Looks like he'll have a Republican House and a Republican Senate. Question is now... Can he get along with them?